Pro-Palestine protesters have held a huge rally near the Israeli embassy in Jordan's capital city of Amman, condemning the regime's crimes in the Gaza Strip and calling for its embassy to be closed down. During Sunday's anti-Israel protest, Jordanian riot police fired tear gas to disperse hundreds of demonstrators who marched on the regime's embassy in protest at Israeli forces' war crimes in Gaza, including storming of the territory's hospitals and mounting civilian casualties. Protesters chanted, No Zionist Embassy on Jordanian land, urging the government to scrap its highly unpopular peace treaty with Israel. They also chanted slogans in support of the Palestinian resistance movement Hamas. Revenge! Revenge! O oh, Hamas bomb Tel Aviv! They shouted. A massive protest in Amman condemning the Israeli genocide in Gaza was on its way to the Israeli embassy when it encountered brutal repression by Jordanian security forces. Tear gas was deployed and dozens were detained. Jordanian riot police had already been deployed to disperse demonstrators who gathered in the Kaloti Mosque and were planning to march on the nearby Israeli embassy. Since Israel launched its genocidal war on Gaza on October 7, 2023, Jordan has been the scene of huge pro-Palestine rallies as anti-Israeli sentiments heightened across the region over the regime's brutal onslaught. Israel's embassy in the kingdom has been a flashpoint for those protests. Jordanian authorities, however, have dealt with anti-Israeli protests with a repressive hand, arresting hundreds of activists and protesters after accusing them of breaking the law. According to Palestinian medical sources, the regime's genocide in Gaza has so far killed 32,226 civilians, mostly women and children, leaving 74,518 others wounded. In addition, thousands of victims remain under the rubble and along the roads as the occupation forces prevent rescue crews from reaching them. On Sunday, Palestinian sources said the regime's forces had committed eight massacres during the past 24 hours, killing 84 civilians and injuring 106 others. This report is by Press TV's website.